Greetings France, my name is Lloyd Brown and whenever I'm chilling in France, relaxing, chillaxing, I like to surf on the website reggaefrance.com. They have all the best music, check it out without a doubt, you know, Lloyd Brown says so. You know, it's always positive, and you know, there's, there's a great appreciation for for reggae music. Period, whether, whether it comes from Jamaica or or the UK, but it's nice to know that the UK, you know, side of the reggae is getting heard out here. I mean, for myself, is it's very rewarding that knowing that people know me, but they don't know me, sort of thing. They know my my songs, but they don't, they can't fit the the, the face to the to the song. So when I actually go and perform these songs, then all the crowd will say, oh, yes, that's him. Shows that I come to perform, that people just say, "Oh, Lloyd Brown, yes, I'm gonna come and see him," you know, instead of thinking, "Well, who is he?" You know. It's my second time. Um, I've had the the privilege of um, hooking up with a good good friend of mine, Sergio from Article Sound, and um, you know, he he took me around the place, and you know. Me and him promoted my singles and my albums all over and got me some shows doing some little dancehall circuits and you know with, with a view to doing you know the big live shows so now I'm at that stage where I'm, I'm going to be performing more live shows and you know I'm just going to be singing 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 The whole of Europe, you know, I can't really put any distinction between one country and another, you know. It's just that the vibes are so more, it's so warm and welcoming. Because in England, it's like, you know, there's so many artists in England. You, you know, you have myself, you have Peter Huntingale, Don Campbell, Don Ricardo, you know, great artists. And I just think that, you know, with, with, with the public in England, they have so many artists to choose from. They're just spoiled for choice, you know. start from 2000 and 2001 and um, the first album that I released with Jetstar was was Deep and that was co-produced by myself and also Bitty McLean who was an engineer for UB40 and um, very very dear friend of mine is you know I, I love the guy he's like a brother to me you know and you know he's, he's a very humble humble man and you know he's been he, he's had success in the charts with his music and you know he was he he, he he was a fan of mine he still is a fan of mine basically and he just wanted to put his you know his efforts into what I was doing he, he gave me strength you know to to continue the works and you know that's how that album came about and we followed it up with Against the Grain another co-production with myself and Bitty McLean and it just went it, that album basically um, introduced me to the world's market you know especially in America and um, you know, it's, it's, it's just been doing good things for me ever since. Mr. Men 
Melody, yeah. Who gave that, who gave that nickname to me? Um, the teacher um, from uh, Reggae Vibes, Dr. T. Yeah, he gave, he gave me that nickname and it's stuck ever since, you know? Stuck ever since. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just thankful that people regard me as a, a singer of that nature, you know? That That's it now, you know, just on the road and touring. That's what I love to do. I love to tour. I love to sing. I love to entertain people. I love to make people happy. That's my job, you know, so 